Chris, thanks. Lawyers in the family of Shanquilla Robinson now planning to march in Washington. This after federal prosecutors announced they won't press charges in her death. Robinson died last October while vacationing with friends in Mexico. Now her family is slamming the federal investigation, but vowing to press on. Wake Up Charlotte's Richard Devane now live for us this morning. Richard, uh, a newly released autopsy providing a different set of details on how she might have died. Basically, Ben, it provides what the family is saying is the reason they're upset. It says uh, inconclusive, undetermined. They say that the U.S. officials waited too long before delving into this investigation. But while we're here disappointed, we're not deterred. Sue Ann Robertson, who represents the family of Shanquilla Robinson, spoke after learning that the U.S. Department of Justice won't seek federal charges following the death of the 25-year-old who died last October as she vacationed in Cabo, Mexico. Robinson said the Charlotte FBI and Department of Justice made that decision after interviews conducted with at least some of the six people who were with Robinson and also inconsistencies between autopsy reports done in Mexico and here in Charlotte. The autopsy done by Mexican authorities showed Chanquilla had a broken neck and a severed spinal cord injury. An arrest warrant was issued for one of the six people who was with her. But another autopsy done in Mecklenburg County ruled her cause of death as undetermined or inconclusive. Robinson's legal team slammed the agencies, saying the case was not taken seriously from the beginning and will take intervention at a higher level to get justice for Chanquilla. Our belief has always been from the beginning that it's always going to be bigger than the local feds in Charlotte, mm -hmm. um, that it's going to take a high level of diplomatic intervention because heads of state have to talk to heads of state. That's just the bottom line. And to that end, they say that is why they plan to hold the march on Washington on May the 19th. Of course, more details are set to come. And of course, as we get those, we'll give them to you. We're right here in Mecklenburg County. This is Richard Devane for Wake Up Charlotte. Richard, thank you.